Starting off with number 60, during a bout between Mark Allen and Ronnie O'Sullivan, a shout of, come on, echoes. Mark's cheeky thumbs up in response lightens the mood. Thank you. Settle down now. I don't know if you shouted what? that type, but come on, Mark, with a white finish there. It forces a smile from Mark. <laughs> Number 57. In the 2022 World Championship, a pigeon flew in and landed on the table during a match between Mark Selby and Yan Bingtao. And was very close to taking a 4-2 lead last night. Mr. Yellow. Oh, goodness me. Hang on. We've got an we've got a unexpected visitor in the house. Has he bought a ticket? That is the question. Well, that's a first for the Crucible. I have never, ever seen that before. I saw a sparrow once at the Welsh Open a few years ago, but never a pigeon here at the Crucible. Diving down to number 56, an audience member shows their love for Mark Williams, leaving him and the entire room in fits of laughter. Lovely. Best of order when the player goes down and plays shot on Steve. It's the first time I've ever seen the players trying to lift the, uh, the, the noise. I think everything's just... Zooming into number 55, Morgan faces an unexpected opponent on the green bays, a pesky fly. Well, difficult to take a shot when that's flying about in front of you. Well, not the most humane end, it's got to be said, but uh, you won't bother us again. <laughs> Sliding into number 54, it's a series of unexpected fouls from Robertson as he managed to send the balls airborne and out of play more than once. Oh, that's so well, let's hope he's not done any damage to his tip. Tap on his tip. Oh. Foul. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Murphy, six. It's all happening out there, John. Well, now it's... Can you uh, settle down, <laughs> please? Well, this is just stupid. Number 52. There's nothing like a friendly banter between opponents. Mark Williams' misfired shot was the source of chuckles as both Mark and Holt shared a comedic moment. That's too thin. Oh, he's got a massive bounce off the ball cushion there. That was unbelievable. We're both having a laugh about that. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Great stuff from the lads. Next at number 51, John Higgins is more than just a snooker genius. He's a showman too, revving up his cue like a bike and sharing a hilarious moment with the audience. Well, Sean, it might take him a few minutes to settle down from that introduction. I don't know if does a slap, we might have a uh, work cut out tonight. What an atmosphere. To break. That's enough now, thank you. That was a good shot, and he did well to strike the cue ball. Cruising to number 50, an audience member shouts out, Come on, Jan needs to wee! Mark Williams retorts, so do I. Shouted out from the audience, come on, Jan, I need to go to the toilet. Mark saying so does he. Swooping down to number 49, Gilbert has a playful moment with the referee. Ask which colour. He leaves a comedic pause before revealing his choice. Ah, oh. oh, what a hit! What a hit! Right, well, you're in that situation, you have to nominate. <laughs> the referee said... Uh, what colour? He said, I've no idea. And Swooping to number 46, Kieran Wilson pranks Bojilova, using the rest for all shots while she patiently waits for him to give it back. <laughs> so it's six.
Bye. Cruising to number 45. After Gilbert's foul scatters multiple balls, he and Maguire share chuckles while Desislava Bojilova has to reset the table. Okay. Oh, good luck putting them back. <laughs> this, is, this is where you earn your money as a referee. <laughs> it's not a free ball. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, the ball's back in your court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then can five? <laughs> can we have the screen? At number 43, Judd Trump's patience test seven tries to finally strike the cue ball. Yeah, it doesn't want to leave a touching ball either. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> Another go. Yeah, and it's such a delicate shot, so maybe he's just better off just coming off the red and trying to find a place tight to the top cushion. Five. <laughs> Six. <laughs> hey, eventually. <laughs> Number 42, Mark Williams' red teeters on the edge. He humorously tries to shake the table to pot it. A little bit more firmly than he wanted to. And once that had happened, I didn't expect Williams to miss it. <laughs> Number 41, after Maguire's unexpected foul, he and Mark Allen share a series of hilarious gestures and playful banter. Number 40, Kurt Mafflin narrowly escaped a fine for his bold gesture toward the white ball. The way back down for the black. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, 105. Dear. Oh, that's a shame for Kurt. He may as well have a go at the maximum, try and pop this black off a couple of cushions somehow. Sliding into number 39, Liang Wenbo flukes a red and heads back to his seat, only to realise he's still in play. 31, 39, frame three. Oh, what a fluke, and look where the pink's going. Surely he's not on the pink as well. Well, Joe smiles, but... Now, why has he sat down? I don't think he realised he didn't, he didn't know a red went in. <laughs> Waltzing to number 38, Mark Williams pots the cue ball and amusingly concedes the frame against Robertson. That's a GH red, are you back? Twisting to number 30, swinging into number 36. Mark Williams miffed at Black's reposition due to a blocking red. Diving into number 35, Dale Jest's post-match loss to Ronnie, telling the crowd he's got potential. Zooming into number 34, Mark Allen struggles with a seemingly bent rest, humorously demonstrating its off-angle to the referee. Big match. Never been to a Masters final. Hmm, well, there you go. There's a piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to play with it or do you want another one? Get another one. Can we ask for another one, Marcel, please? It doesn't look straight. Okay. Amazing. 
can grab another one, please, Mark. Thanks. They were probably going to make a queue out of it, and then because it wasn't straight, decided to make it into a spider. <laughs> Have a look at this. And no one has noticed it all week. <laughs> I tell you, it'd be, it'd be really funny if this was even more crooked than the first one, I tell you. <laughs> With it being a spider, it's not as though you can roll it on the table, is it, to That's see if it's straight? They've been like that for They're all like that. <laughs> this one back. And now we're going to improvise. Put the rest on top of the normal spider. At number 33, water mishap. Mark Williams humorously misses his mouth while attempting to take a sip. I frame at the moment. It's the type of frame that... Mark Williams, 20 in. Great shot there from Mark Williams. <laughs> Unlikely to get any massive advantage from it, but this particular frame is the... type of frame that uh, Mark Williams... Number 32, Judd Trump hilariously pots the cue ball off the rails twice in succession. Foul and a miss. <laughs> Thing two and four. Yes, they hold it and hope. Wow, it's a bit early in the piece to be showing that level of desperation, isn't it? You might be able to leave the cue ball on the black cushion, but no, it's another hit and hope. Wow, what's the chances of that? <laughs> Number 31. In a light-hearted moment, Milkins amusingly imitates Mark Williams' mid-match. Trying to convince himself because obviously it's the, it's the unmissable pot. It's a frame ball. From that view, it doesn't look on. Let's say Mark's got a better view than us. No, he's decided against. One. It's dead to have a look at it now. <laughs> Anyone else like to have a go? <laughs> Number 29. Referee Olivier Martil and Mark Williams share a light-hearted chat during the match against Ali Carter. He said, Mike Williams has said, you set the reins up, I'll keep the cue ball. You get the reins up, I, I need this cue ball to break off. <laughs> he is a wind-up merchant. <laughs> the referee always puts the uh, white on the ball cushion while he sets the balls up, but Mike Williams, that was quite funny, actually, when he said, yeah, you're not, you're not having it, it's mine. <laughs> I'm going to break off. It's my ball. Number 28, Mark Selby humorously chooses to leave the cue extension on and play through the frame. Saying <laughs> Someone said you should leave two. that on. <laughs> Let's see. The gentleman that he is, well, the two great ambassadors. Not easy to clear up with that. Uh, 47. With a cue that length. You have to use the rest to break off. Time is Ennis. 51. <laughs> Part-time job standing on wedding cakes, aren't we, Dan? <laughs> 62. Well, that's one way of clearing them up. Number 27. In the match between Mark Allen and John Higgins, unexpected rattling noises from the overhead light have everyone looking up and sharing a chuckle. Rattling from somewhere. Number 25, Ding unexpectedly pots a red and his comical reaction lights up the room. And you see, as I said, it wasn't guaranteed, but another one's gone in. Can you believe it? Was worried about what he'd left, but then, extraordinary fluke, really. 
vehicles running into each other. And Navigating to number 22, a playful misunderstanding unfolds as the referee struggles to decipher which colour Lei is referring to. <laughs> well, there's only six colours, he's named three there, the referee. <laughs> Bit of a lost in translation moment there. Zooming into number 21, a twist of fate as O'Donnell fouls, but the cue ball finds its way back home. I well, decided to try and play the thin safety. That's how Biffle. I think Laura could just, well, that's almost where he was. That's all. He didn't have to move. He didn't have to move. He was like a boomerang. Number 20. Ding gives us a moment of laughter, trying to use exaggerated body language to somehow influence the course of the balls after his shot. Moving to number 19, a light-hearted incident unfolds when the referee drops the yellow ball in a match between Mark Allen and Sean Murphy, triggering amusing gestures from the players. Oh, hang on. Steady, Rob. Steady. Quick, quick. You got it. Well, everyone's excited to be back at the snooker, clearly. And disaster was averted. Number 18, in a twist of humour, Walker makes a playful attempt to block the pocket against Mark Selby. For number 17, we have a delightful moment where Mark King is humorously chatting away and directing his advice toward the snooker balls. Oh, don't go in. Don't go in. Get in, then. <laughs> One. Who's next? Starting with number 16, during his chase for a 147, Ding flukes the yellow. The stunned reactions from him and Ronnie O'Sullivan are memorable. Number 15, Mark Allen loses his balance, disrupting quite a few reds. <laughs> Number 14 features a hilarious banter session between Mark Allen and Mark Selby in the 2023 World Snooker Championship. So boring. <laughs> <laughs> Always missed it. My calm for. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. Coming up on number 13, it's Mark Williams causing a stir. After sinking a red, he picks up the cue ball for a deliberate foul, leaving the referee utterly bemused. Black, but it's still a tie the frame. Not he lost momentum there, Five. really. Oh. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> 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 you can see it in the frame of the reset foul. I know the more importantly is uh, Mark Williams has gone in front again now at seven frames to six. Could let me know. At number 12, we've got Sean Murphy lightening the mood. His hilarious facial expressions at the 2018 World Championship had us all chuckling. Look in the world and I'm going to make you win unless you're very good at what you do. Boys are very good. Well, he's putting some faces, is Sean. No need to tell you, he doesn't like you. Like what it's, uh... At number 11, a, a humorous scene plays out with Olivier Martil and Ronnie O'Sullivan hilariously attempting to catch a rogue fly on the snooker table. Very entertaining, first four frames. 
Ronnie could quite easily have been 3 1 up. And it's, <laughs> has he caught us? That is the question. <laughs> Pretty For number nine, it's Mark Williams in a cheeky moment, repotting the yellow that the referee forgot, leading to a ripple of laughter in the audience. Isn't that nice to see as well? I mean, what a gentleman. 98. Now this is going to be funny. Mark's going to go around and get the yellow out himself and put it back on the table because the referee. <laughs> Now, that is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Never ever seen that before. Is that well, not a foul shot? You're not allowed to spot the balls up that's a, that's a... Number eight showcases a theatrical Peter Ebden pulling funny faces as he narrowly avoids fouling on the yellow. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Peter Ebden won. I did see the tennis face. He didn't think we'd have reached the yellow. It would have been a disaster. After a great pot like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you put yourself bang in trouble if it doesn't reach. But these cloths are quite fast. Now, this will be some shot to land on the red. It's near the cushion as we show you Peter's reaction. At number seven, a dose of humour as Judd Trump playfully pranks referee Ben Williams. Exhibition shot. to entertain the crowd when the frames are one. <laughs> and that shows Jack Trump still has his sense of humour. And it's a lot easier. Number six showcases Mark Williams' humorous side as he goes for a double on the final black, only to cheekily pot it with his hand instead. Cheeky double, not there. Number five, injecting some humour into his match against Mark Selby, Sean Murphy tries his magic to scatter the Reds with a comic hand wave. Oh, he's unlucky. <laughs> open says me. Well, you might, you might be a magician, but you can't open the Reds with your hand. Number four, Mark Williams humorously cycles through Q extenders. I need the long stuff. The referee kind of suggested putting an extension on the extension. Here we go. Well, if there's any more put on there, we'll be playing this from the car park. Yeah, now get everything out of the way. Mark Williams, 28. Landing at number three, Graeme Dot lightens the atmosphere, celebrating a potted black with a funny gesture that even has the referee cracking a smile. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was brilliant. <laughs> In at number two, Mark Williams spices things up with an unconventional attempt to pot the black. <laughs> not allowed, Mark. Not allowed. At number one, a funny moment when Anthony McGill ends up climbing the table for an awkward shot. Fire my Anthony out. Just check to see if it won't, won't touch him. <laughs> yes, you have to keep uh, a foot on the floor at all times. Can't do that. For snooker videos, click on the screen right now. right now.